Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on how to use AMP Monitor employee details. AMP Monitor is an easy to install cloud based monitoring and tracking software. It is helpful to employers who want to keep track of their employees' activities while working online. To start, open the AMP Monitor dashboard by typing dashboard.ampmonitor.com, then press enter. This will open the login page for AMP Monitor. Type your login details, so the email, the password. You may click Remember Me if you want the computer to remember your login details to avoid typing them all over again every time you sign in. And if you forgot your password, click the button over here to help retrieve it. When you're ready, click the Login button. This will bring us to the AMP Monitor dashboard. Let's go to the left side and click this button to bring us to the Employee Details page. As the name suggests, here we can view the employees and their corresponding details. So the full name, email, location, department, status. The red square indicates that the employee is absent. We also have details. Click this button to view the employee's details. It will open a new tab where you can see the info on the selected employee. Click the pencil button over here to edit the employee info. So this dialog box will appear. There's another pencil button over here. Click it to upload a new profile picture for the employee. So select the right file, then click open. You can't change the email, the password, and the date of joining. But you can edit the full name, the M code, the contact number, the location, the department, and the address. Click Save when you're done. Below, you can see the top apps and the top websites opened by the employee. So for the top app, it's Google Chrome at 66.67%. For the top website, it's dashboard.ampmonitor.com. Let's scroll up and go to Activities. Here you can view the employee's activities on a specific date. Select the date over here. Let's say July 31, 2019. Click Screenshot to view the screenshots taken by AMP Monitor while the employee was working on that day. So for July 31, these are the screenshots from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So the pictures are grouped per hour. We have three from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., five for 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., and so on. You have the option to click the screenshot to make them bigger. You can also download them by clicking this button over here. Let's try. So they are downloaded in a zip file. So you can download a batch of pictures per hour. You can modify these details. Let's say July 9, for example. Click Search. No screenshots to display because the employee was not working on that day. So let's go back to July 31. Click Search. So here we are. You can also click the Download button over here. So this time, it will not download per hour, but it will download all the pictures from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So the file is significantly bigger than the one we downloaded earlier. So let's go back to the previous page. The next buttons are the top websites and the top apps. Let's say top websites. It will reveal the top websites opened by the employee on this specific day. So the details are shown through a graph and the highest is the dashboard.ampmonitor.com website. Let's go back and click Top Apps. This time, it shows Google Chrome as the most used app. So it was used two times compared to this other app which was only used once. Let's go back. So you can also view the employee's keystrokes, browser history. So these are the websites the employee visited, applications used, 
Finally, we can view the user logs details. It will open a page with a helpful graph where you can see the log details depending on the date you choose over here. First is time log today with full details. So we have the log in time, which is 10.53 a.m. Log out time at 2.11 p.m. So the total number of working hours is 1 hour and 55 minutes. The non-working hours is 1 hour and 22 minutes. That gives us a total of 3 hours and 18 minutes. So this is the graph that shows the number of working hours with a lighter shade of blue and the non-working hours with a darker shade of blue. Next, we have online time today. So this is the number of working hours today with full details. Next is time logged in the last seven days with full details. So this is for the last seven days, starting from the day today. And the online time in the last seven days with full details as well. And that's it for the log details. If we go back, we have covered everything for this view details tab. So let's close it. The last one is action. So under action, there are four buttons. The first button will allow you to assign the employee to a manager. Click it, and a dialog box will open where you can select the manager and click assign when done. The second button will allow you to upgrade the employee to a manager. The third one will allow you to edit employee details. Click it. As you can see, the dialog box is similar to the edit user info earlier from the view details tab. Make the necessary changes and click the update button over here when done. The last button over here will allow you to delete the employee. Above, you can click the drop down button to select the number of employees to appear per page. So we can choose 50 or all. To narrow down the list of employees to appear per page, you can select the location, the role, and the department. Let's say Java. And the list was updated. If you have a new employee, click the Add Employee button, input their details. Let's say Bruce Wayne, for example. Mobile number, location, let's say New York. Confirm the password the M code and the address, date of joining is today, for example, upload a photo. Then when you're done, click the Add Employee button. And that's it for the AMP Monitor Employee Details Tutorial. There are other AMP Monitor tutorials, so be sure to check them out. I hope you learned a lot, and thank you so much for watching.